Excited to play some auction not included. Just chill out today. I have a new audio interface and I think it's working great. Um, I've been messing with settings the last two days. I think I think audio levels are good. I think I no longer, the main thing I'm super, super so happy about is every time I've tested, I've heard no static in the background, no hissing, no feedback, none of that. I've had to, it's taken me a bit to get levels and everything set, but I think it's good. Uh, there's an auction not included DLC announcement. I have not heard about that. What is, uh, what's going on with that, Math Champ? Uh, DLC, huh? I wonder what they're going to add to the game. But uh, we are playing Auction Not Included today, so I'm going to load this up while you're telling me about it. Um, I was actually looking at... Uh, look at the uh, petroleum boilers and uh, volcano uh, tutorials from Francis John. I was preparing for today's stream because definitely got some uh, got some work to do. Uh, I'm going to... We're going to try to... I'm just going to try to set up my first um, volcanic powered oxygen uh, volcanic heated petroleum boiler today you only notice the static when you had your headphones on you just put them on now and you can't hear static so you think it's really better nice nice it should be way better than it has been um uh I've t i tested it in audacity which is um Audio editing soft auto audio editing software i tested in Streamlabs. had to do some setting changes and some drivers and stuff, but I should be in so much better audio quality place. Not that it's probably actually going to be heard by the stream much, but there were some people that noticed in the static and I heard it every time I tested it every day, so I'm just happy about it. Main features of the uh, DLC for Oni are completely reworking space exploration, so you actually build colonies on the space destinations. Wow. Along with a radiation system with conduit-like manipulation. That sounds awesome. That sounds really cool. Actually, actually making the space exploration something you could do sounds really freaking cool. Space will be far earlier in the progression. I like that a lot. That's cool, man. Um, okay, so what are they doing over here? She's just going over here and picking up stuff. Okay. Alrighty then. So, today I have one main goal, and that is to get a petroleum boiler online and... Maybe get steam power, but if I get petroleum boiler online, I'm going to have a lot of power. So, um, it's going to be all about working with these volcanoes. So, what we kind of started working on yesterday. You know what I could do? I could actually vacuum out. If I vacuum out the space before I go into here, how much will that help? Before I actually create my, uh create my chart because I need to vacuum out where these volcanoes are is, is the main thing I need to do and actually I need to vacuum out all this stuff down here hmm uh it's gonna make people CPUs cry okay <laughs> you know what I think what I should actually do before I even try to vacuum this area out is I should make the container apart from this and vacuum that out completely if I can so what I think I want to do is I want to make I want to make this whole area yeah I want to make this whole area vacuumed out. How am I going to go about doing that? How do I want to do accomplish this goal? Because this is an area where we're going to just close off and store the um, magma that we can pour into our petroleum uh, boiler. So we're actually going to need a pretty big vacuumed out area anyway. So let's set that up. Let's actually get that set up. How do I want to start that out? Petroleum boiler. So this would be like we'd have some storage here and then we'd have a petroleum boiler. I actually don't think I'd want to have the petroleum boiler on this side because this is where all my ladders are. So I think I'd want to do it over here. If storage and petroleum boiler over here and petroleum will get piped somewhere. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start. I think the easiest way to do this is going to be kind of build around the volcano. The problem is this is really hot, isn't it? Yeah, all this obsidian is 1400 degrees. Um, this whole area is, okay, four or 500 degrees, pretty darn hot. So let me see here. Now the challenge is gonna be, 
Uh, what what am I going to use for? Because I'm going to need lots of radiant liquid pipes, so I'm actually going to need to make a bunch of refined metals. I have the most. I have a lot of aluminum ore, which is great. So if I start making a ton of aluminum, refined aluminum, that's going to be very useful. All right, I'm just going to get, we're not going to get, uh, I said I was going to look for a plus seven rancher, but did I already get one of those? Skills, auto research, Marie, carrying your athletics is nine. Ruby, as soon as Ruby gets access to wearing, we're letting Ruby out of there. Lyra, did we already let Lyra out? Not quite yet, but almost. Oh man, morale's not doing great for some uh, people. Okay. Okay, I also had this uh, copper volcano. Do I want to tame this before I get into that? Because this gives me just free refined copper. You know what? That would be actually very nice. So before we get into, let's do, let's re let's get the this guy started first. Do I have um, steam turbines yet? I actually should be researching that, right? Where is my research? I need the steam power. Uh, where's power? We are currently working on steam power. And do I already have thermal aqua tuners? Yes. All right. So what we want to do is... Um, do we want to vacuum out the area to put steam for the volcano? I think we do. So this is what we're going to work on first here. So what I want to do is... Now, does anybody know... I know with gold volcanoes you only need a single steam turbine, and with iron volcanoes you need double, double steam turbines. Does anybody know how many turbines you need to cancel out the heat from a copper volcano? I have Francis John's video on iron, gold, and copper volcanoes. The iron one takes two. I think the copper one might only take one, like the gold. Not 100% sure on that, but I think... Um, Let's see, overpressure numbers for the different volcano vents and geysers. Let's see. So, 150 kilograms is minor volcano, copper volcano, iron, and gold volcano. Tame metal volcanoes turn out to not be that difficult with a steam turbine. Uh, so, I think... Well, I guess it just depends on the heat, how much heat a copper volcano does compared to gold use double on yours but you could look at the numbers if you wouldn't mind looking at the numbers i probably should do double um but uh let's see how i want to do this so i'm gonna need to vacuum out this room so let's first things first let's set up we need to set up a uh No, let's do it. Uh, let's go up one level because there's going to be water in there. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to set up a water lock here like we always got to do. Or liquid lock, I should say. So here. Here, and we have, now have access to oil for liquid locks, right? Yes. Now have access to liquid uh, oil for liquid locks, which is great. We have a salt water geyser down there. I'm going to need to supply water to my oil wells. So I'll probably be using the salt water geyser for that. But probably I want this to actually start producing water. Right? Yeah, so let's also dig out around this guy. So we have a little bit of water building up here. Can I mop up that? I can. So we'll do that, we'll do this, and we'll build out a little bit of a tank for this to be spewing out some water. We got some nice diamond reserves we want to get here. Turn this on fast. Okay, and they'll be able to reach all that. Okay. Hey, what's up, Real Magic? How are you doing? Yeah, basically, Math Champ, I just need to know if the heat of a put off by a copper volcano is 
more or less than the heat, heat put out by a gold volcano. Because I've never had a copper volcano. I've had a couple of gold volcanoes and I've had an iron volcano. But I don't think I've ever had a copper volcano. So I don't know the heat numbers on, on that. Any suicidal duplicates? Not yet, Zoli, not yet. Although my stress is already going up for Hassan here. What are you stressing out about? Eat some food. Eat some food. Eat it. Eat the food. Let's see, water wise, auction wise, heat wise. All right, we have definitely made our base finally have better temperatures, or at least, well, Warmer temperatures. I don't know if better is the right word. Okay, we got some hatches here. Uh, we kill the hatches off. The puffed, we won't kill off. There we go. All right, so that's uh, that should be steam turbine researched. Okay. I feel like I'm having to wait a long time for them to do stuff. It's the building thing. Priorities. So Zoli's my builder and digger. San's a builder. Azzy's a digger. Okay. I don't have a ton of builders and diggers that aren't my ranchers, I guess. Chef Shogi. Building and digging. Okay, alright. So Chef Shogi will do that stuff when there's no research to happen to. Okay, so we got like three or four people who will do this stuff. We just gotta be, gotta be patient. Gotta have faith, faith, faith. Ooh, you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Baby! Alright, so this shouldn't go over this level, I believe, right? Like, it'll overpressurize. This guy's overpressure. I think when it goes, like, a tile above it, it gets overpressurized, so... Let's go one more here, just to make sure. And I don't want anything leaking in here, too, if we can help it. So we want to do something like this. This will be the, the tank that we have some water storing in. Kind of like that. A copper volcano is about 75% of the heat output of an iron volcano with the same stats and 2.5 times that of a gold volcano. A copper volcano does need two self-cooling steam turbines. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. That is what I needed to know. So it's basically similar to an iron volcano. Just a little a little less heat than an iron volcano. Oh, God, the chlorine is going to liquefy here. Uh, okay. Is that going to be an issue? Yeah, probably. Um, you know what? Let's. I'm going to need to get power down here anyway, so I have a power spine that I can... Extend down here. Heavy white wa heavy watt wire. Let's make this out of iron. No, out of copper. And oh, great. Um, let me do this. Wire bridge there. Power wire there. And then deconstruct those two guys once they build that. Okay, so copper volcano is similar to iron volcano in the uh, heat produced, it sounds like. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. I really want Ruby to get one more skill point so I can stop training you and give you exosuit wearing. Because I just need I need a person who can help me out with my building and stuff. Lyra. Okay, Lyra's got exosuit training. So we are going to have her be done with her training. So Lyra, did we already have her be done? I did have her be done. What are her priorities? She was the one who was doing supplying and storing. Uh, let's put her, yeah, tidying's fine. Tidying, she'll do a little bit more and then building and digging. Um, when Ruby's done, he's gonna definitely be a builder and a digger. Okay, did they get those power lines? Almost. But you can shrug those two. Beautiful. And now I can put this heavy watt wire.
Hansel. Ugh, such a pain. I don't want to actually replace this one. But, uh, whatever. This is going to get power. Holy crap, this is a long ladder. All the way down to here, because I want to uh, actually get... I want to vacuum this out. I don't want to have chlorine liquefying inside of my saltwater geyser area here. So that means I am going to need a, uh, a water lock here as well. Or a, a liquid lock. Liquid lock's just all over the place. So if we go, like... There, that'll work if we do this. And this. And we'll uh, pick that up and vacuum out this area. Okay. Alrighty. No, no research, and that's fine because I want Shogi to be uh, helping build stuff and not researching stuff. So, how are y'all doing? Anybody have a. Crazy fun 4th of July yesterday. Any any Americans in the chat who had a nice 4th of July weekend yesterday? Or, I guess it's still 4th of July weekend, but 4th of July yesterday. I actually didn't go look at fireworks or anything like that. I'm gonna do crude oil there. I need to wait till that's done before I do it. Okay. Um... If I want to actually dump the crude oil somewhere, I'm going to need to do... Yeah, I'm going to want to do something like a... Like a mesh tile. Mesh tile and bottle emptier thing here. Allegra. So, so vai? Okay, I don't know what language that is, but all right. What's up, Cthulhu? How are you doing, my friend? Allegra. I'm pretty sure Allegra is actually a a um I believe that is a medication in the US, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna have to change this up just slightly. I think something like Ugh. I just need this to be a little bit taller here. Wish a little bit taller. Wish it was a baller. Zoli lost even more sanity points with Cthulhu showing up. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, that means we gotta deconstruct that. And it should be like that. That deconstruct and that should be good, I believe. Building lacks resources. All that's fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, Ruby, you got a skill point yet? Not quite yet. Chef Shogi. All right, most of these people, I don't really... I guess I could do that for her. Tyler, you're kind of close to Max. You're pretty close to Max. Hassan, yeah, okay. Don't want to overdo their skill stuff there. This still hasn't been disabled. Oh, no, it is disabled. Okay. And it is still considered a hospital. Perfect. We have 326,000 calories of food. That's great. Do, 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 do. I almost wonder if we're getting too much heat from this. I think, I think it's okay. I don't think it's too hot over here. Yet. Yet. Um, because I think I'm good to go up to 14 duplicates, actually. So, if I do see a really good digger, builder, or rancher, I should pick them up. Should pick up one more um, builder, digger, or rancher. Because as soon as Ruby's finished training, I'll be good to put another another duplicate on on there. Allegra means happy or something along those lines in Italian, which is I'm sure Rand knows as is another form of allegro. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Definitely makes sense. 
do that so they can reach that. I, I didn't know that exact translation because I'm not, you know, fluent in Italian, but... Could you do any metal volcano with one turbine if you have enough heat capacity in your system to average out the active-inactive periods? I don't know, math champ. That's a very technical question that I could not tell you. Okay. Enable nine. Copy there. Your grandmother's name is Allegra. Nice. Rand, just a side note, the turbine room of your copper volcano tamer needs to be flooded with a gas that is not CO2 or chlorine for the self cooling to work. Right. I was actually planning on putting some hydrogen in there. Was my was my was my thought. But yeah, it's a it's a good reminder for sure. Okay. It's used as a greeting in Ro Romanche, translating more or less to cheers. Okay, all right, cool. Do this, and they can jump over there, and then I can dig out all this stuff. There we go. Uh, unless the numbers you're looking at for possible yields are wrong. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. With too much heat capacity, you overpressurize the volcano. Yes, and I have had an issue with that in the past, overpressurizing volcanoes. And I didn't know what happened, but that was with putting too much water actually in there. I think I actually put too much water in the volcano, or in the sur area surrounding the volcano, so that it was overpressurized and didn't do what it was supposed to do, which was, you know, produce metals. Okay, so we're looking good there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish getting this water set up. Then we're gonna get the uh, uh, copper volcano set up. I'm a little worried we're not producing enough oxygen with our one spawn for 14 duplicates. Um, but I have excess oxygen from my second spawn, so uh, I just need to pipe that extra oxygen over if I need to. Currently, I don't think we're having any, any issues with not enough oxygen, if I'm not mistaken. I believe we're good on oxygen currently. Oxygen is included. Pun. Tastic. Time. Okay. One or two probably depends somewhat on your volcano rolls. Oh yeah, like how much heat your volcano happens to produce, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do... I really need these power lines to be made. They are slowly making them. I'm going to want to pump all this chlorine out of here so we don't have liquid chlorine happening so ventilation gas pump gold and we're just gonna do like this and do a bit of a yeah just do a power transformer here There. Two. There. Hopefully that'll just allow us to pump out whatever gases are in here and make this a vacuum. How much gas is in here? Oh, it's not that much gra gas at all, so that won't take long. Very nice. Um, And we should probably analyze this. Which is a movie, right? Analyze this, a movie with... Is that Adam Sandler? No, that's anger management I'm thinking of. Uh, I think Robert De Niro or something? I don't know. Okay, so we're not over flooding with water in here anymore. That's good. So I guess that means we actually... So we're regulating our temperature in here pretty nicely. Yeah, so like this water is heating this area. This is also being fairly well heated by this this oxygen coming out. 
What's the temperature of the oxygen coming out? 61 degrees. It's actually coming out a little hotter than I wanted it to. It's getting down, still getting down to 8 degrees there, but it's coming out here at 43. It's coming out here at 57. I think I want to back up my insulated pipes just a little bit. I feel like we're getting a decent balance of heat, but I don't want it to be too hot. It's right along here. It's really, really warm. But you know what? This is kind of a it's kind of a heating system we have here with with our auction coming out at 69 degrees ish, being delivered around 60, getting down to like 40 here. We basically we basically are spewing out some hot hot air to help uh, heat up our base there. That's kind of kind of interesting. Kind of cool. Liquid lock looks pretty full. Yep, yep, you're right. Thank you. I want to keep track of it. It's actually a little too full. But there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, looks like uh, there's... Uh, how much is in there? Crude oil, 50 kilograms? Yeah, there we go. That's good. After I get this pumped out, then we'll get uh, we'll get the liquid lock set up on our uh, copper volcano. Then we'll vacuum that out. Then we'll add the steam turbines, and then we should be good to go. Get that set up. And I actually do want to dig this out just a little bit more, but let me let me vacuum it out before I do that. All right, fifty percent stress on Zoli. Zoli, you are one stressed out duplicate. And let me do. Priority nine. Okay, game. It's power lines. I want to get this done. There. I want that all to get done so I can pump this out and start working on the next stuff. But thank you, FRD, for saying that. My liquid lock look full because uh, I either my uh, I need to do some adjustments on my priorities or I just need more duplicates because it's taken them a while to get anything done. Berkman, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. All the stress you don't have, you've shoved over to your duplicate self. Nice. <laughs> You're like, I'm totally relaxed right now. That's, uh, this duplicate is your, um, what was it called? Your doppelganger or your... What is it? There's like... Kind of like little, um, what are those voodoo dolls? Like a vo It's your voodoo doll. This duplicate is your voodoo doll that you throw all your stuff to all your bad feelings over to four of eight critters in here huh all right does that mean i'm eating them um does that mean i don't have enough incubators three four five six I have six incubators for 24 stone hatches. Is that enough? Anyone help me remember if that's enough? How many incubators is it per hatch? Unpowered incubators per hatch. Rhyme with glaciers can't get any colder. Yeah, we've we've dealing with cold has been a big challenge this run, that's for sure. That's been our, the main challenge, actually. How's that sound? Are y'all hearing some weird fuzzy sound, or is that just in my ears? The hell? Are y'all hearing? Are y'all hearing that sound, that fuzzy sound, or is that just me? Nothing weird. Damn it! I I have the one bad thing about my new um. The one bad thing about my new audio interface is that the mic, the headphone output is a, a larger port, so I have to use a, I have to use an adapter. I think the adapter is giving me a little fuzz in my audio. One second here.
Okay, apparently... No, no, when I hear audio, I'm hearing fuzz. Damn, that's gonna drive me crazy. Okay. Well, apparently my new audio uh, interface is great for quality, but I actually need to get a new adapter. Because basically, this little guy is too small to go into the Focusrite's um, uh, headphone jack, and I, and I use an adapter for it that's... Apparently crap. I have a second adapter. Let me see if this adapter is any better. One second. Sorry about this, my friends. Gotta, gotta play with new gear and make sure it's working right. You can put anything you want inside those ranches. Machinery, plants, anything. Not anything you want. You can't put incubators because if you do that messes up your numbers and they'll be cramped uh dupes are your surrogate there you go yeah this adapter i don't know i'm gonna have to mess with this off stream my headphones have a one it have a 1.5 millimeter jack but the um focus right has a I guess 3.5, whatever the bigger one is, that's what the that's what my audio interface has. So I need an adapter from headphones to that. And the adapter, if it's got interference, is, is what I'm hearing. So I don't have enough copper ore for this. Well crap. Really? I'm just I'm out of metal for this. Okay, now my now I can't even hear stuff. What the hell? Oh, damn it. I was actually kind of worried about this. Damn it, focus right. Why do you have to have a large adapter or a large port for um, headphones? All right, I just I'm, I guess I'm just gonna be listening to fuzz all day. It's gonna suck. Uh, Six point five millimeters, the big one. USB DAC gives you bus sound. I also need to reconnect it, then it stops. I don't know what bus sound is. Okay, so I need this. Okay, this is a. Uh, I don't want to lose use aluminum for this. So I'll use iron. Oh man, I'm getting a weird crackling sound with every audio thing I do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look into what I can get. I probably just need to get an adapter, or I need to get new. Maybe what I can do is get. I have an, an extender. No, I'm gonna need. I don't know what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need an adapter that is probably made for this audio interface, an adapter that's shielded properly and all that. Because this is so strange that I'm getting all this static through my through my headphones. Okay, so this is going to be for crude oil. There. We can dump crude oil there. Oh, I'm going to have weird static all day. That's going to suck. Okay, now why is this not powered? I didn't connect it here because I didn't want to have to change the materials. So we go there and then cancel. There it is. Okay. And let me, because I don't want this to overpressurize, we're going to just dig all this out. And that should allow this uh, stuff to gas to spread out here. Yeah, I'll probably have to look up um, for this Focusrite Scarlet. There's probably an adapter you can get for the... Uh, or a recommended... Oh, Jesus Christ, you stupid... Stupidkins. Um, there's probably a recommended... Adapter to use to change your headphone jack size or whatever. Well, at least at least the quality on your end is good, right, guys? <laughs> at least your quality's good. Alright, good. As soon as we clear this out, I'm gonna dig this out, and then we will be... Yeah, I'm getting like a weird staticky echo every time any sound happens, so, alright. 
Okay, so we just want to empty this room out. Okay, so that's pumping. I can thump and stump and pump and we want to get... Oh! Enable auto bottle 9, copy there. Get this set up. We're going to want to do a similar thing here where we pump out this after I figure out the room. I guess actually once I get this, um, I'm going to want to get the power. I'm going to want to get this set up already too. So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a power transformer just like right here. And do... No, what the hell? That is not what I want to do. I want this wire. There. Get over here for a pump that we're going to put in place over here. Okay. Is that full already? That was quick. Okay, nice. Uh, there, there, disable, and disable. Okay, so that is good. How are you coming along here? Clearing this out, very nice. Okay, oh, Ramsey's wondering if Cthulhu's friend found a new sci-fi opera game to play. It's one you don't know you might want to play, Ramsey's nice. Sci-fi opera, what is that genre? Is that is that like is that what Mass Effect is considered? Is Mass Effect considered a sci-fi opera? Uh let's do that so that they might be able to reach that. New printables, I missed that. Okay. Wart Siege, sure. Uh oh you have Wow, plus seven construction and buffed strength. Okay, alright. Frankie. Yeah, welcome aboard, Frankie. Alright, and has Ruby got a skill point? Ruby is... Ruby's ready to go. As soon as we can get exosuit wearing, you'll be fine. So, Ruby, you are no longer allowed in here. Actually, we just... So we do this. Frankie, you are allowed in here. Priority for Frankie... is operating. Schedule. Is it time to get a new schedule? I got four... Yes, it is time for a new schedule. So, new schedule. This is going to be fourth shift. Fourth shift. Um, and we want it to be just offset from this guy. One, two. One, two, three. My stress levels stay high. I might need to start giving them a little bit more bath time or bedtime. Which one is it that I need to give them more of? It actually might be... I think I might need to give them extra downtime. So that they have time to get back and eat. You know, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to I'm gonna actually change this. So we're going to do... This. 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 Give them one extra downtime. That they can get... So that gives them more time to get back home. And eat and use the bathroom and all that stuff they got to do. There. One, two, three. And there. And then... And... Bedtime. Bath time and everything else's work. Okay. Uh, whoops. And then we need to move the new guy down here, which is... Come on, game. Uh, Frankie. Okay, so that should be good. Did I have a... I think I had beds for Frankie. Yeah, should be good. And I got his priorities that he does that. Okay. And since I told Ren he's no longer doing this, we take him off operating. He's on building, building, digging, supplying, storing, and also tidying and... That stuff. Good. Uh, we'll do that. Okay. Beautiful. Space Officer of Opera is basically Mass Effect. Okay. It seems he might give Fallen Order a try to scratch the KOTOR, KOTOR nostalgia itch. Nice. 
Okay, it looks like okay, we're back up to seven of eight there. So I think we I think we have enough. Well, we might have you know what I might have done was probably killed off some of the guys that were here and I shouldn't have done because I could have uh, wrangled them. Some of those random stone hatches. What? This door should be locked, by the way. Thanks for standing there. You let me know that you were dumb <laughs> and that door should not be used. Okay, so we got a bunch of idle stuplicants right now. Um, what are we doing here? So, this is still... It should be a vacuum soon. Okay. Oh, uh, that means I can put my ventilation pump here. There. This weird audio echo is going to... Oh, man, it's going to throw me off. I might have to go... I don't know. I might have to go to a, a store so I can actually... I don't know what I need for this for this thing to make it not make this weird echo in my ears. It's so strange. Okay, let's get that going. Maybe there's something I'll be able to do besides buy something. Maybe there there's a, a setting or something I can change for this. Okay, um, let's see. So they're doing that. So we're going to get the Copper Volcano. We're just waiting for these freaking pumps to do their thing. I don't want to dig out any more of this till this... The more I dig, the longer it'll take for this to pump out all this gas. So I'm going to want to do a similar thing. Not the volcanoes. I'm going to want to... Now, pumping out the volcano area is going to take a long time. There's a lot more gases in here. My transformer is buried near the upper volcano. Transformer. Oh, up here. Did Was there sand above this? Good call. Thank you. Good call. There are a lot of random different gases up here. Holy crap. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you for that, uh, for that tip, Zilly. Y'all are noticing all sorts of stuff that I'm missing. This should, this should get vacuumed uh, out really fast since it's such a small area. Okay. I can kind of ignore this one and work on this stuff because this, this should get, this should get dumped out really fast. Yeah, there's very small amounts. Okay, so we're going to want... Let's figure out the uh, placement of this. Uh, let me look at the Francis Jones video for the uh, metal volcanoes. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter the placement. You just need two two steam turbines next to each other above this thing. So it's going to be something like power steam turbine. I want to do these out of... Actually, I can do these out of anything, I think. This I don't think matters. Because as long as I'm cooling it well, I can make these out of lead. So there'll be one thing, one thing there. So it'll be like this. Nope. It will be steam turbine. Lead should be fine. Could put it right there and there. So that should work there. This thing done. Vacuum, beautiful. Deconstruct. And deconstruct these power lines here. Okay, so let me deconstruct the bottle emptier. We are going to need to pump some hydrogen into the room that these guys are in so they can cool. Although, yeah, they'll eventually need, they'll eventually probably overheat if I don't do that. So yeah, we should do that. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, did I do this right? If that's there, I want this to be here. Actually, I think I have those placed wrong. Uh, cancel that guy. Actually, needs to go one down, I believe. So it would be like this. Like that. And like that. And then we can climb up here to reach this area. 
Space opera is a subgenre of science fiction and future fantasy that focuses on large scale conflicts, usually revolves around practical long distance space travel. Um, actually, uh, Star Wars is considered space opera, isn't it? So. Okay. Uh, as a genre, traces its role roots to Western, hence the name being re referenced to horse operas. Okay. So yeah, I actually want to get up into here from outside of the thing here. Because this is a vacuum. This is not going to be a vacuum. Star Wars is a poster child. Space opera. Great. Poster child. It is the poster child of space opera, huh? Do I have any water around here that I'll be able to pipe in? Because we have like... You know what I could do? I could probably put a bunch of ice in here. And once this thing starts going, the, the ice will melt to become the water. That might actually be the best way. How much ice are we going to want? How much water... Um, oh, I need to dig this out. How much water do we want in here? Because we don't want to overpressurize. That was, I think that was one of the stats in this thing. Uh... Over pressure numbers for the different volcanoes, vents, and geysers. For minor volcanoes like copper volcanoes, 150 kilograms is overpressure. So I need uh, less than 150 kilograms, I believe. All right. So if I put like 125 kilograms of ice in this room, I believe that will. Uh, it will melt as this thing does its thing. That'll create water, which will become steam that the steam turbines will turn into power, basically. Okay, so once they finish this insulated tile, then I can build up into here and set this room up. I'm going to want to get hydrogen in that room. So I guess do I need to... Well, that's kind of why I was thinking about using the... No, I'll probably just do a second... Second... A second... Uh... Water lock or whatever. Uh, so I would want to do it like this, which would be I get rid of you. So I can go like that. Because if we set the set the right gases in here, we don't want those gases to get changed out because of uh, them going in and out of the room. You gotta go hang laundry. Alright, Cthulhu, enjoy. Oh, it's 150 kilograms per tile. Oh. Is that right? 150 kilograms per tile. So I need to do 150 kilograms per how many tiles are in this room? Or is that just how many tiles over the copper volcano? I, I guess it's probably how many, how many tiles in this room, I'm guessing, is how that would work. So I need this to be like one, two, there like that in the room okay 150 kilograms of liquid uh, per tile in the room okay so make it over 100 kilograms per tile under 150 kilograms and you're good okay cool so we'll do that math we'll do math time to do more math on stream uh, after we get the uh, steam turbines and all that set Okay, did this thing finish pumping out everything yet? Still not. Done. Okay. Okay. But this is going to be the water that's going to be supplying my oil wells with their with their water basically. All right, well, here's my, uh, we found our, whatchamacallit, found our uh, core, and it's not an ice core. Your dupe may scald depending on the temperature of the liquid copper. Well, uh, huh, yeah, the look, the copper is staying as a liquid here right now, isn't it? No, it's doing okay. 
she's doing fine. This bit's fine. Uh, okay, so water's fine. Did I, uh, did Ruby, there we go, Ruby exosuit wearing, perfect. Lyra's got her auto, you got that. Uh, Frankie, I forgot to give you your skill point. Azzy, oh, nice, okay. Yes, exosuit wearing for Azzy, beautiful. Son, you're good there. You're kind of getting maxed out there. Uh, you're getting close. Let's let's wait till I get more more morale before I do too many extra things for some of these duplicates. Okay, beautiful here. So I can do crude oil enable seven copy there. And then we're just going to pump some, uh, we're going to want, oh, she did scald a little bit. Toasty surroundings, yeah. Um, we're going to want to pump some hydrogen into this room once once we get this. So, because I don't want a lot of extra gases going in here, I'm going to wait till liquid lock's done before I do that. Because actually I can make this a vacuum after I get the liquid lock set up. Because I can just get rid of this bottle empty or put blocks there and then deconstruct them. And we'll be, uh, we'll be good there. And if you'll be good... Rebel Galaxy, remember getting that for free on uh, Epic Games Store last year? Rebel Galaxy, huh? Oh god, this is this this audio is driving me crazy, man. Jamaica me crazy game. Well, it's not the game, it's the audio interface here. <laughs> That guy came and they dropped the crude oil there. Oh, time for my break. You stupid, you stupid freaking stupid. Actually, we want that to be there because this side is. I actually do want them to not. I want to be able to. Okay, where do I want to bl lock off? Where do I want to block off here so that they're not going outside? That's a volcano. So I actually don't want them going out up here. So I should block off. If I deconstruct those two ladders, they will not be able to get up there. You sure it's not my Robo Miner beam from your FTL Oni ship going out of the background? And <laughs> yeah, it might be, might be something, might be something similar to that. Okay, there we go. Now they cannot get up there. Perfect ways. Perfectly. Perfectly. So that means I'm even gonna put like a little tile here to remind myself. Always something here to remind me. So we do that. Now I can dig out this and they'll be able to get out while they're in their exosuits to get over here and work with this volcano if I want to do that. All that kind of stuff. Good. Nobody's trapped. Beautiful. All right. So this is good. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Fill this in so we make this a vacuum. And then we'll turn this into a... Um, Turn this into a room with hydrogen in it to cool down correctly. Sound issues starting midstream. Maybe just unplug or switch on off your entire sound thing. Well, if I do that, that might cause issues with it being in OBS. I don't think it's that. I think I think it's the actual adapter. This is the first time I've streamed with the thing, so it might be a, an interaction with... Well, if y'all aren't hearing it, it shouldn't be an OBS thing. It should be just a hardware thing for me, I think. Pretty sure it shouldn't be a an OBS thing, I don't think. There we go. So got our vacuum in there. Beautiful. So we're going to want to get hydrogen up there, which should be pretty easy. Um... Basically, I'm going to want to just pipe this ventilation. Pump that into there. Uh, you don't need a double liquid lock for proper insulation with a vacuum between the two locks. 
Um, I shouldn't. Maybe either try during the break, sure. Maybe I can reset everything and when we come back from the break, break we'll fix whatever breaks because we do that. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, you get heat conduction through the oil. Um, what are you worried about with the heat? Math champ? Where where are you worried about heat going? Because this thing is going to create heat. The steam turbines are going to eat that heat. Speaking of, actually, um, I'm going to want to get the power out of here. So, can I do... the power that this produces I can actually just add to my my, my uh I can add to my uh spine here yeah if heat passes from wh where are you worried about heat going I know what I know what math champ is describing what I don't understand is what 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 the purpose is when we set up the um, the the really hot industrial brick, we did the double thing because we were creating a lot of heat. Here, we're creating heat here, but then we're destroying the heat or transferring an energy here. So I don't think we're going to be creating so much heat that I have to worry about that. Heat transfer in the lower floor of the tamer. Yeah, there usually is a double liquid lock. You're saying I should have a double liquid lock here? Seem heat will transfer the air air uh, to the crude oil. So you're saying it'll get too hot. The crude oil will. Well, there's going to be steam in here. We're going to be putting water, and there's going to be steam. So you're saying this hot, this heat is going to eventually heat up. Non-insulated tiles to the right of the. Okay, let me do this. There, do that. All right. Um. Okay. I guess I can. I can do a double liquid lock here. Uh. So that would be like this. Dig that out. Not to boil it, but just leak out to the other atmosphere. Okay. I don't really care about that because it's so cold. But you know. Okay. Well. well. We'll do it right here. <clears throat> Fear is the 130 degrees of the steam usually transferred through a singular liquid lock. Okay, all right. Okay, I got you. All right, we'll do a double liquid lock. It's cool. That's cool. So we would do... Um, Let me see how I want to do this. I want to do... Ladder here. Dig this out so that this liquid lock is. They don't have. They don't go through this ladder. This this ladder is in the way of the liquid lock, basically. Oh, actually, it let in a little bit of hydrogen. That's perfect. I might not need to even need to pump in the hydrogen. Probably not enough, but uh, that's cool. Uh, worst case would be 130 degree heat leaking out, then leaking into the turbine room. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll definitely we'll do the double liquid lock. I think I think y'all are make you you have convinced me. You have convinced me. Cancel. This should be buildings. My deconstruct thing doesn't seem to be working anymore. Mod that I had. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna make the vacuum without having to pump it out by just putting blocks in here. And it's plumbing. Bottle emptier. Bottle emptier. And then it's going to be this. This. And that should do it, I believe. Turbine room can usually just be walled off. Well, yeah. I, 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 I have a feeling I might eventually need to get in here. If I build it right, I don't think I'll have to, but... Just, 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 I like having, I've messed up my build too many times to completely wall off myself to something that I think I probably will need to get access to at some point, if that makes sense. 
if you have to get in, you deconstruct the walls. And if I do that, I did like I changed the gases exchange. So there you go. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want gases to exchange. I want to keep this just hydrogen. I don't want like some random carbon dioxide or something getting in there. So. All right. So we need to get that there and then we should be good. Um, I do want to get this hydrogen here, so how do I do this without messing up my piping here? If I disconnect this, so if I disconnect this guy, disconnect this guy, and connect, what happens if I connect this right here? It just goes in a loop, so that won't work. So, uh, okay. Uh, how do you get the hydrogen out of here? I guess uh, I extend it from off of this side is what I do. Okay. Sure, this is a complete liquid lock before I tell them to stop doing this. Actually, after they deliver this one, I'm going to deconstruct it so I can fill this in while this fills up the thing there. More long line. You mean more long lines of still keeping the liquid lock path and just blocking off with insulated tiles? See so if you need to access it, you deconstruct the tile. All right. I'm just going to leave the liquid lock. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Probably famous last words, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say it shouldn't be an issue. It's rhyme, yeah. Because it's rhyme, we have so much. Like, overheating is the last of our, the last is is like the lowest. What's the word? Is the least likely issue that we're gonna have, I guess. Overheating is what we is the like the one thing we don't have to worry about on this one. Yeah, leaving, letting the heat out probably helps us a little bit because of how cold the thing is. Copper volcano is buried. Okay. Well, I can't get it until after it. We're, I got to make this this vacuum. Got to make this um, yeah thing there. All right, so there's a double liquid lock. So we should be good about heat getting out of here now. Um, so next thing, I need to set up the piping for these guys. So... Insulated pipes. We want the water. Um, actually, what we want is the water that's coming out to be. You know what? I think. I think I do want these to be radiant liquid pipes, right? So it would go like this. Just something like that, something basic like that. Um, to a liquid vent. They'll go out, they'll cool this down in hydrogen. Or should I, should I, eh, I should, I should do more, I should do a more extensive thing, I guess. So I guess if I could do like this, this, there. there and is this insulated like that and that'll cool that down i'm gonna need more uh aluminum uh stuff because i'm gonna need a lot of these uh pipes for for the thing so i'm gonna do another like 20 aluminum how's my heat doing all right our base is finally not Completely frozen over. You can get away with uh, less with aluminum. Ah, we'll just we'll go with that. That'll, that should be plenty, so we don't have to worry about not getting enough cooling. Although I guess we have to worry about it freezing. I don't know. Is it possible for these things to get too cold? I don't think that's possible. Get there. I'm gonna deconstruct all these guys. Give me that material back. 
It's unlikely that I can get too cold. Okay. There. God, this uses up so much of our material. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use... Let's use... You know, maybe I should be using the heavy conductive wire. That uses... Uh, well, you know, I'll, I'll start being able to use heavy conductive wire after we get this copper going. Because this is just... This is going to be free refined copper we're going to have really soon. So... There we go. All right, and that'll give us some extra power there. Why does this run kind of regular conductive wire? Um, because I'm connecting this to my spine. What's up, Azzy? Sunday stream. That's right. Conductive wire, then transformer into the heavy watt. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, these guys can do a, a maximum of what? Eight. Uh, uh, 1700 and can conductive wire handle that? Heavy watt joint plate. Can I... You know what? I've already built it. It's fine. It's fine. It's part of my spine. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do that. I might need... This, this might actually lead... This spine might go up to space at some point. I'm just going to leave it. I could probably use I, I could probably do it better. Yeah, you're right, but I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> okay, so I need to figure out how much water I need to put in here. So, uh cuz I have ice galore. So what I can do is I can just put um what was it? We want to do I want to do 125 kilograms per tile. So how many tiles is this? I can't see that. That's 7 8 9 10 10 times 3, so 30, 34. So 34 tiles times 125. What is that? So 34 tiles times 125 kilograms would be 4.2 thousand kilograms. 4.2 thousand kilograms. So if I just say... 4,200 kilograms of ice in here and then put that on the ground. It'll eventually melt. Um, will it melt, though? Because we have a vacuum in here. It's actually not going to melt. So I need to pump water in here, don't I? Sweep everything. All right, all right. I think I actually do just need to put water in here, don't I? Yeah, I would the the molten the molten copper would, but that would take a long time. All right, I guess what we're gonna do is just do a bottle emptier, and I'll have to just keep keep track of it. I don't want to do it this way, but I also don't want to have to wait for the molten copper to get to move there. It's gonna take forever. Place all but two hundred kilograms in ice, then the bottle opener one time. Okay, the bottle. Okay, all right. Let me try that. I think I see what you're saying. So, forty-two hundred ice here. So I would basically pour that water onto the ice, and that would melt it. Is that what you're saying? That would maybe transfer the heat from the liquid copper once it touches it. Okay, I. That's a good call. That's a good call. So. 4,000 kilograms of liquefiable ice 9 and if I say sweep this, there's a bunch of ice on the ground right here I think, so there might be even enough you pour water in it, it will steam from the copper, okay gotcha, gotcha, good call, I like that idea All right, I'm going to save before I do that in case something horrible happens. <laughs> All right, so 4,000 kilograms. Beautiful. Save the game. And we... I should have kept the bottle emptier here. Do this. And then what we say is we take this out and it just drops on the ground. I can... I won't deconstruct it because it's 
fine there. And we do enable auto bottle, nine, water. And see what happens. Should get a bunch of steam, hopefully. We have iron ore, right? Yes. Actually, do I have enough iron ore is the question. I have 580 kilograms. Each one of these takes 100 kilograms. So I actually don't have enough for all these. Need more iron. There's a bunch of copper here. Uh, that. All right, my people. Oh my gosh, it must be nighttime. They're all on their break or some crap. Why does this pip take the ice out of here? It's so weird to me. I don't know why the pip... I thought pips only took seeds out of chests. Low funds. Hmm. Are we doing eight, seven? Nice. We're back filled up here. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we'll not kill off these extra dudes in here. 250,000 calories. We've gone down some. Um, I'm up to 13 duplicates. I wonder if I should add an extra stone hatchling ranch. How many... Uh, does anybody know how many... Oh, we should probably be fine. If I get below like 100,000, we'll look at adding another one. All right, you bring in some water. Bring me some water. Nope, you're picking up ice. Somebody do this. You doing it? All right, you're finishing those things. Water on the ground. Steam. All right, beautiful. <laughs> All right, is that ice steam? How much ice is here? There's the ice is still there. The temperature should be going up. 27 degrees. So the ice will slowly heat up. Because the temperature in this room. Yeah, okay. That'll definitely heat up. So crazy to see all this stuff that's like really cold on the ground. That'll that'll slowly heat up. No, they stop. Okay, that's enough. Stop. There. Okay. That's a little extra water, but it shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. Well, I might overpressure now. Will that overpressure? Because they put. Um, no, I was, I was, I was doing the. Well, because this is blocking that off, actually, maybe it would. Let me mop up the crude oil because I, I did the math on if there was enough water for all of these tiles. So. I know they're still pulling waters. I stopped. I stopped. Uh, okay, do that. Okay, there we go. So that should be good. This should not overpressure this ice. Um, should slowly warm up. Okay. Um, you know what I need to do? I need to set up a storage area. Um, a centralized storage area and do a big sweep thing. So where would I want the storage be? You know what? I probably want it near Atmos suit docks so that if they go and get stuff, they can go, we can get to it pretty easily. Or maybe I do it right outside the Atmos suit docks. So if they sweep stuff, do I want it inside my base or outside my base? The little storage area that uh, Francis John likes to do. Could mop maybe the bit of the water? Nah, I I don't think I I'm pretty sure since I did the math at 125 kilograms and 150 is over, we should have we should not have to worry about overpressurization. Uh, to the left of my spawn, maybe right here. Uh oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. I think I I was leaving enough room for my transportation tubes though. Transportation tubes. So 
So I'm actually thinking like right... Yeah, the, the 3D pole and the auto dispenser is what I'm talking about. Um... Because if I'm going to eventually do transportation tubes along here... And have a pickup place right here. How about I do it right... How about I do it below? Above or below? Let's do... So I have a tube here. I should be okay to do it like right here. So... So if I go like this, somewhere, just give a little extra room like this. Like this. One, two, three, deep hole. There. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Because that's where the tube's going to be, so it's got to be here. So like that. And it is the dispenser. There and there. And then let me dig this out. And they're going to trap themselves, right? Please don't trap yourselves, please. Okay, good. And basically we want anything except liquefiable stuff in there, I believe. Could you put a small roof above the liquid lock next to your Atmo docks to prevent liquid from spilling in the liquid lock? Small roof above the liquid lock next to your Atmo docks. Yes, good call. Like that. Good call. I like that. Okay, so this is going to be all, but I don't want critter eggs. I don't want anything that's going to op. You know what? Off gassing should be fine. Normally, I don't want stuff that off gasses, but this is outside of my base, so I actually don't care if anything. Mm, no, I probably shouldn't do that. So, no bleach stone, no oxalite. Okay. And I don't want liquefiables in here. And. Pluto dirt, rot pile, slime all off gas? Does slime off gas? Yes. Okay. And that should be good, right? I think everything else should be good to go in there. I actually want this to be at like six. Yeah. Put a towel of liquid in there so the slime doesn't off gas. Okay. Uh, problem is it's negative 0.3 C, so I would need to put, I guess I could put like just a dab of oil in there. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> Stuff is gonna... Yeah, I don't want anything... No, I just don't want anything that's gonna liquefy or freeze. It's snow... Snow is a liquefiable, right? I, I turned off liquefiables. Is there snow in there already? I need to sweep the snow out. I think that was just sitting there. Was there just snow there? How did that snow even get there? Let me just make sure there's nothing else in there that's going to mess us up. Okay, there is slime already in there. Algae doesn't off-gas, so that should be fine. Put in crude oil should be good. You mesh the tile beneath your suit checkpoint to catch all accents. Oh, yes, I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. Let me do that. Good, good reminder. I did that last time, and I forgot to do it this time. You basically just need it in the cup first couple, right? I do like that. Let me dig this out, and I can make a little pump to pump that out, too. I totally forgot about that. I did that last time, and I forgot. That was something that um, whoever it was that used to always hang out when I played this game told me that they like to do. I was like, that's a cool idea. Uh, mesh, not airflow. Crap. Yeah, that's the wrong tile. Cancel. There. Yeah, 
I'll, yeah, one or two is fine. I'll do three just in case. Never can trust these duplicates. Actually, let me cancel this one. Let me just do the two. That should be good. And I think what we did was... <laughs> you stupid. Freaking stupid. Azzy, what are you doing? You're trying to kill yourself. Stop trying to kill yourself again. Okay. Um... Uh, we, what, we, what I did was he actually just fed this to a single... <laughs> you, you, you locked yourself in. Single... Hydroponic farm... With... No. Uh, what the hell? What's here? Crude oil. Where does freaking crude oil come from? Okay, so this is going to take a while before the steam ever gets to a high enough pressure and a high enough temperature, but that's fine. That just is so that the copper volcano keeps working. Okay, mop that up. Uh, mop this up, please. You hate this talking about suicide, etc. Since, well, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Well, okay. It's just, duplicates do make bad choices that end up possibly getting themselves into a place where they can't breathe, so. No, no real life. You asked to be named a person, and so when the person in this game does these things, I'm going to comment on it. So if you need me to change your name because it makes you nervous about things, I can change it. Um, basically what I want to do is... Uh, whatever it's called. You had a bit of water freezing pipes, now there's ice in the turbine room. Crap. Um, that's okay though, right? I still haven't pumped extra hydrogen up in here. I need, I think we need more hydrogen than we currently have. Um, uh, I know there's a little bit, but I think I need a little bit more. So how do I... Okay, so what I do is, I don't need to do much, but I can do this. I do that. And then disconnect this. That'll let that hydrogen go, and I'm going to deconstruct all these pipes, because I don't need them. Nope, I disconnected the wrong thing. Okay. I'm thinking that, how much is that? Thousand grams. That should probably be plenty. I'm thinking. There. Do that. Do that. And then do that. There. Okay. Just, well, you get sensitive about this when you will. Yes, I, I understand. And I don't... I don't mean to bring up any bad memories or anything like that. I, I hope you know that this is... Anytime I make any comments, it's because... It's just, it's just the video game. It is just in the video game. I'm not referencing anything about your real life. What's up, Ganjana? And I definitely wouldn't want to bring up bad memories or anything. It is negative 29 degrees in there. I wonder if this thing will ever add enough heat to even activate these guys. My gosh. Yeah. Okay. Here it's more like babysitting toddlers who get themselves into danger all the time. Yes, yes. It's definitely like that. Um, so what's the one that we usually fed it to? It was... Thimble reed seed. There's no way that temperature will ever be good. Uh, sleet wheat. Does it need polluted water? No, it needs regular water. Will it eat the water even if it's not growing because of temperature issues? 22 to 65. Like, if I plant thimble reed seed, if they ever pee and we pump it into there, will it eat the water? Hey, and Shogi gifting the sub. 
we'll do this and we'll keep an eye on if things get out of hand here. Hopefully we won't have an issue with them peeing anyway, so. So we do that. And this 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 audio bugging in my ear is gonna drive me crazy actually. I I need to fix this like quick. Because even even my own song, watching all the Twitch now, it's like all all screwed up, man. Okay, so that's unreachable build. There. Hope your beam didn't break my earbuds. <laughs> I know it's I know it's not my earbuds because I was testing stuff with my earbuds before and after the stream. I. I Actually, what I'm going to do, y'all might not be able to hear this. I'm going to take off earbuds. I'm going to try, I'm going to see if it is my earbud thing. Let me, because I have speakers. Yeah, it's, even coming through my speakers, it's this fuzzy, fuzzy distorted sound. So it's got to be, it's got to be the little adapter that I have or the output, something with this output and the adapter. I might need to see if there is a, um, a headphone jack adapter specifically made for focus, right? For this, for this, uh, thing there, there probably is. I'm guessing there is a, um, let's see that's powered. That's good. I'm guessing there is a thing made specifically for, for headphones for this thing. At least I would hope there would be. Okay, all I care about is this eating whatever pee water that happens to go down there. Alright, is this set up? Is this good? I think this is all good. I'm pretty sure this is all good. There's plenty of hydrogen in there. I, I think we're ready to start messing with... Oh man, you're a really good digger. Uh, no. No! Whoops! Did I just make a new duplicate? What did I just do? Did I just add another duplicate? I didn't mean to if I did. Frankie... No, okay, I didn't. Alright, I think I printed... Whoops. I think I printed rust. Printed rust. There should be rust there. Okay. Alright, uh, so I think it's time to start working with volcanoes. Thimble reed won't work because it's too cold. Right, but what I'm hoping is that it will still eat the polluted water. I don't know. I think it will eat the polluted water. If not, I'll just pump this over to where my polluted water is. Speaking of, my polluted water is building up some. Um, my deodorizer doesn't seem to be doing a great job of deodorizing. Uh, what do I want to do here? I should probably just make a bigger tank, I guess. For now. Uh, I wonder what is the best setup for hands-off critter breeding that maintains the populations of the stables while minimizing dupe errands. I don't know. No, Shogi, I'm not having issue with my audio. I'm having issue with... Um, well, I, I kind of, it's not any issue with the stream. Like it's coming through great for you guys. The focus, right? Scarlet solo headphone jack is a, a larger jack. It's not a small one, like for headphones. And so because it's a larger jack, I'm jack. I'm having to use a, an adapter. And I think either the adapter or my headphone adapter is causing me to get fuzz. So I need to get a new, I need to get a new, um, Uh, I need to get something else, basically. Is this gonna work? That polluted water got out of there. Actually, you know what? I can deconstruct all this and cancel all this. We got a wall right there, so if I just do this and dig that all out, we should be good. Arbitries and distilleries for what? Deconstruct, deconstruct. Ladder there. 
For now, your current plan is three rooms, a stable itself, an egg hatchling room with auto wrangle and a kill room. Yeah. I've seen builds like that for Drekos, and I kind of wanted to do that. I just, um... I, uh... Drekos need hotter temperatures, so I feel like for Rhyme, I can't do that as well. Okay, you're not stuck, though. Okay, good. Uh, either slick stewers, regular, or shovel starvation farming. Faulty quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter connector bringing you down. Yes, it is, actually. It is bringing me down. Bringing me down to funky town. All right, after we do this, then the next goal is going to be... Um... We're going to work with volcanoes, so after our first break is going to be when we finally get to work with volcanoes, which is what I wanted to do. This is not going to be able to pump up polluted water from where it is, so I'm going to have to move that down. That should be fine. I actually don't want to dig out the oxalite because it's free. Oxygen. Alright, how am I going to build this without pee water going everywhere? I think I do like this. And that'll let me do that. You dropped your hatch farm from eight hatches to four because you don't need the coal that much, so you might make their room smaller and put the kill room behind it. The kill room. It's, don't call it a kill room. It's horrible. It's evolution chamber, okay? <laughs> it's evolution chamber. We're not killing anybody around here. Don't, don't kill him. <laughs> Arbor trees, we eat the polluted water. I need 15C, unlike Thimble Reed, which needs 22C. Oh, you're talking about here instead of the thimble reed um well i mean okay problem is it's negative it's way too cold for even arbor trees so i'm just not gonna worry about that well if it eats the polluted water great if not i'll I'll pipe it over here not not a huge deal hey what's up specter how are you doing the poor man's human venter <laughs> four hatches and then we eat them. Because we're not cannibals. We don't eat humans. We just vent them. Alright, did they finally move all the stuff from up here? Hey, they've gotten mo they picked up most of the crap on the ground. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah, this is like... This is so weird. Rhyme... Working on a Rhyme asteroid is so different. Everywhere else, every other game we've had, it's like... Oh man, it's a challenge to... To not have the entire map overheat this this map it's like everything is frozen all the time <laughs> it's always frozen so it's crazy that needs to be a mod eat dupe dead dupes <laughs> oh, that'd be you know they they probably don't want want to get into cannibalism it's, you know this is they've got to have some differentiation from uh what's that game rim world Okay, athletics is 12. Wow, I could probably... Oh, Ren... Uh... No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till you get exosuit training before I let you out. All right, so we're going to give you hard digging. Uh, and you are out, Lyra, so I can give you... We'll give you a digging helmet. And Marie... Athletics 15. Nice, Marie is ready to go. We have another prepared dupe. Beautiful. So, Marie Priorities is going to be down here, building, uh, building and digging there, and tidying, toggling, attacking. There, that should be good. And Ruby I never gave a hat to. Skill, Ruby. Um... You're gonna be a decorator, apparent eventually. Uh, let's do exosuit training for now. Marie, I just let out, so exosuit training. So these three are not ready to stop training, but Lyra, Marie, and Ruby are all done training. Okay. Let's see, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Priorities. Lyra is good. She's a supplying storing person. Marie is a builder digger. And Ruby, uh, I didn't fix. So let's have you be a digger and Marie be a builder like this. There. 
there, there, and there. Okay, that should be good. No cannibalism in Rim World, especially not when playing in an ice lake biome. Do you dare claim a dupe, Math Champ? It's up to you, my friend. It is up to you. I, I am happy to do so. But uh, be prepared. <laughs> I will say things like, don't try to kill yourself, Math Champ, and why are you so stupid? But again, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> All right, we are almost ready to start messing with... Uh, we basically, the main goal is we want to get a petroleum boiler. And we want it to be with using volcanoes for the first time. So that's going to be our goal. So will oxalate off gas if it's underwater? Oxalate blocked. It won't. Interesting. Okay. That's something I don't think I knew. I will say things like, why are you so stupid, math champ? And I, I really don't mean anything by it. <laughs> really, totally don't mean anything by it. I say that to my friends all the time. I don't know why my friends hate me so much. But, uh, you know. Just, just normal. It's just normal. Is liquid lock between beneath my cold generator broken? Yes, and it's because it, things have frozen. But I'm not worried about it. Because... Uh, well, let me see. Is the temperature into a place... I could actually fix it now. Let me fix it now. If I do, um... It was too cold and my water froze for the lock at one point. But, uh, we can fix that now. That should be it. That should be good. And... Especially because the water's warmer now. Yeah, that should be good. So, disable auto bottle. And as soon as that finishes, there. All right, that'll fix it. Cool. There, there. I'm purposely leaving the oxalite because, again, it's free oxygen. Put it in salt water. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. My water, when I first made that, my water was cooler. My water now is up to... Nice balmy 26 degrees from all the heat we've been adding to it from our refining. Um, so another project we're going to need to do is finally actually moving our refinery out so we're not. Um, uh, we're not adding, adding too much heat to our base. Nice, this nice warmer temperatures here. Flushed in paradise! Let me finish digging this out, fixing this, and then we're going to go work with the uh, volcano stuff. Put in the ran salt water. The ran salt water. Okay, so I'm going to need to do... I guess I can leave that there, but I'm going to need to put another one in case I ever need to pump some blue to water. I'm going to need to put it right... Why can't I put it there? I can put it there. Will I be able to reach that? Why the hell does this not work? Oh, it's overlapping with the other one. Okay, I can put it there. Am I going to build an industrial sauna, Kappa? Why the Kappa? Um, I liked my industrial sauna last time. It was a lot of work, though. I think, I think since I just have such a cool, cold map... I'll probably build an industrial sauna, but not worry about cooling it. Just let it kind of heat up. Well, no, not do a sauna, because sauna is using that heat, using steam turbines to kill, to uh, turn that heat into power. I doubt I'll do that. Oh, man, there's a plus seven rancher. All right, this is going to be the last duplicate I get. The last one I get, and I do need that person to train. So priorities. And I need to keep an eye on uh, food and oxygen now that we got this other person. So operating... Skills. Even though this person's not um, going to be going out into the world as much, I do still want them to get the training for that. 
the schedule, skills, priorities, and did I do schedule? I didn't do schedule. Schedule is the thing I was missing. Schedule for May. Ran salt water preferred by four out of five Pakus. <laughs> Ran banned salt water. It's the saltiest salt water you can ever salt. Order today. I've now reached the maximum food supply of three hatch ranches. Okay. All right. So I might even want to create one more hatch ranch if I want to make sure I am not uh, overeating my food. But we should be fine. Overeating. Uh, we should be fine. All right, so it's time. It is time to mess with the volcanoes. All right, all right. How do I want to do this? Because the plan here is I have two volcanoes. They're going to be supplying magma, and I want to use that magma for a petroleum boiler. So we need to figure out the spacing for these things. I think I'd like to, before we start building the petroleum boiler, actually get this area vacuumed out first thing. And I believe the best way to do that, we actually put blocks in there as we dig out. Like dig out and then place blocks kind of thing. Have I put the auto sweepers to sweep only? I haven't. Do you think I should? I'll do that. Okay. All right. So this is going to be the challenge. Um... Okay, I'm going to save the game. Save as. I haven't actually done... Uh, this is going to be Rand Rhyme. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try to make a liquid lock out of the cold oil that we have. And I want to see if it's going to turn to sour gas when I... Whoops. When I open this up. I have a feeling it might, so this just might not work. But if I dig out the hot stuff, I'm curious if I can build the liquid lock out of the cold crude oil and not have it come, become sour gas and screw up everything. Well, that sweep only, you create a task loop that kills a lot of dupe time. Ah, okay, good call. Good call, thank you. Because I put it on the ground, then they pick it up again. I, I, I see, I see what you, I see what you're, I see what you did there. I see what you're saying. And that's a good call. Actually, I need these insulated tiles. Oh, are they already made out of obsidian? I am. No, these ones are igneous rock. Cancel, cancel. That's obsidian. That's obsidian. Okay, so I do need these guys to be out of obsidian. Problem is, it's going to be using this really hot obsidian, isn't it? Is this is this. Uh... No, I don't think I've dug out any hot obsidian yet. I think most of the obsidian we've gotten is cold. This is hot obsidian over here. There's something else next to the volcano that might be a problem for you. What? This right here is another volcano. I've already seen it. You can see. Is this what you're talking about? This other thing? It's just another volcano. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so we have some really hot... Ob Really hot abs abyssalite on the ground. And now we have just released a lot of heat here. So I want this abyssalite, this hot abyssalite, to not be sitting here when I'm going to be placing stuff. So if I just move this... Um, can I move this hot abyssalite up into here? That should be fine. It's going to heat up this area up here, though. Once you build something, the temperature resets to a standard value, if I recall. Really? Oh, I thought uh, I thought when you build things out of materials, it is the temperature of that material. All right, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. So we're doing a lot of we're getting a lot of temperature exchange here, which is actually good. It's kind of cooling down. Well, it's is it cooling down the abyssalite very slowly? I think it's so that the air is not the crazy high temperature that will cause issues with um, 
the uh, oil, I don't, I, th I think. But this hot abyss light on the ground is an issue. Yeah, it's still, it's 1100 degree abyss light. So I need to sweep that abyss light somewhere. Am I okay with putting the hot abyss light in here? I don't think I am okay with that. So what I think I'm going to do is just build a chest. Let's just do a chest right here. And I'm going to say do priority eight, sweep only, abyssalite, and sweep up this abyssalite and just put it in a chest over here. Abyssalite has massive thermal energy capacity. Okay. So sweep only, eight priority, but all I want to put in here is... Uh, which one is it? Is it miscellaneous abyssalite? Yes. Abyssalite. And we are going to... And it's only the abyssalite that's really hot here, right? Abyssalite. Everything else here is pretty chill. Everything else here is super chill, man. Super chill. I'm going to sweep that. Uh, let me build a ladder. Ladder up along here so we can... So crazy. This is negative 17.6 degree abyss light right next to, yeah, basically 1600 degree abyss, abyss light. It's crazy to me. Okay, so plumbing. Here's where things get interesting. There's starvations, Dreco. That's just Dreco's. It's not these guys, right? Unreachable, happy. Y'all all got food, right? Yeah, this should all be fine temperature-wise. It's all growing. Cool. So we got steam in there. You know what? I'm going to want to dig into here and get rid of these... Um, Build tiles in these before I open up here to start pumping that out. All right, here we go. We're saving. Are we going to put oil in here? 45C. Okay, temperature looks doable here if I do this, I think. This is going to be crude oil. 7, enable auto bile, bottle, copy, paste. See if we can make a liquid lock out of crude oil here for this. Because it looks like... Oh, man, that's getting hot, though. That air is getting hot. <laughs> it might actually... You know what? This might actually turn to petroleum. And if it doesn't get any hotter, might actually be okay. Wow, we have really hot chlorine here. So when I when I pump when I pump this air out, I'm not gonna want to pump it out here, right? I think I'm gonna want to just well, with how cold it is, if I pump hot air out here, it'll it'll exchange temperature and should be okay, I think. So I think I want to start pumping air now. So we're gonna pump this out this area out, and then I'm gonna dig into here, and I'm gonna place tiles in here to destroy this, these gases to create the vacuum. I'd rather destroy the really hot gases than uh, pump them anywhere. I'm going to have to pump this stuff, I believe. If I do this and put a pump there, I want to do this out of steel. It'll probably still going to take damage, but... Um, I'm going to need a power transformer here. You start with making a two by two hole, making it a vacuum, and then only opening one block to the hot CO2. Uh, this is chlorine in here. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, okay, let's make. Do wires melt in this temperature? Uh, do wires. Do you have to worry about temperature with wires? I think you might. Can't remember. Uh, ventilation. 
gas pump, making this out of steel right here. So the pipes can melt. All right, so we're going to do steel. Um, do I have... Is Wolframite better than steel for this? No, probably steel. Melting temperature is a concern. Okay. There. Um, insulated gas pipes are, uh, I guess I can do like obsidian insulated gas pipes. Let's pump this out like down here, maybe. Steel doesn't melt. Okay, okay, good. All right, so we're using obsidian insulated gas pipes to pump out the really hot air out to here. It's going to exchange temperature, but it should kind of even out, kind of, I think, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we have we have our we have our um we have our liquid lock here. Disable. All right. Temperature of this. Wow, actually the temperature of this crude oil is doing fine. Interesting. It's doing better than I thought it would do. Okay. Okay, that's really good. Pleasantly surprised about that. Uh, you... Oh, did I want Ruby to be a digger or a builder? Let me check. Priorities. Ruby. Digging. Alright, so I'm going to get him on skill digging first. Okay. All right. This might not be as crazy tough as I thought it might be, but we'll see. We'll see. We haven't broken into where the actual volcano is yet. Once we let this steaming hot gas out. What were you saying? You start with making a two by two hole, making a vacuum, and then only opening one block to the hot CO2. Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. I was going to make this a vacuum. Then we open this up and hopefully it'll pump this out before it gets to the oil. I guess that's, that might be what you're saying so that this hot chlorine doesn't touch the oil. Hopefully it'll be able to pump it out fast enough. Although this, this hole is a little bit bigger than 2x2 two two because the bottle emptier, so that might be an issue. It's you, but I guess we'll find out. We're gonna, I'm going to try it this way. This might actually work. This might work. It's crazy enough, it just might work. There's next to no gas by the volcano. Oh yeah, it's only like 10 grams. Yeah, there's a small enough amount that, yeah, you're right. It might not be an issue at all. Ah, oh, crap, it's over pressure. Uh, okay, I need to deconstruct this and do a high, high pressure one, I guess. High pressure gas vent. This. Priority nine. There. Uh, yeah. Made out of gold. This should be fine. Yeah, it's overheating. Yeah, that's... I should have done the high pressure thing there. Freaking hell. Uh, there. Let's turn off... Uh, come on, build this thing. Please don't stop in the middle of it. There we go. So why isn't it doing anything now? Pump not in gas. Oh, is it already a vacuum? Well, that was freaking fast. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's open this. Let's do it. This thing is overheating and wasting steel for us, but that's okay. How much steel do I have? Uh. Over two tons. Okay. I'm going to turn off the auto repair for now. See how the temperature's doing over here. Yeah, it's such small amounts of gas that it's like almost, I feel like, small amounts of high amount of chlorine. It's, it's just, it the temperature evens out so fast, I think it should be fine.
So there is a little bit of chlorine coming out of here. But I think the temperature is such... There's such small amounts of it. That's not able to change the temperature around it all that much. So this, this I think, will work. But I do need to repair this again. How's the oil doing? 10C. 11C. Okay, temperature's good. I'm going to kind of babysit this. Because this is the most most important part. If I can make this a vacuum, then we are in good shape. I can I can dig around here before I open up and get uh, and destroy destroy these other things with um uh, destroy these other gas pockets just by building tiles on them and stuff. So yeah. I wonder if I could have built this out of gold. Would it? Do, so do. Now this is something I don't know. If you have a if you have a machine made out of the material, does the higher quality of the material mean it breaks slower? So if I made this thing out of gold, would it break faster than if it's made out of steel? I feel like that might not be the case. I wonder if it's going to have a hard time. I wonder if I need to do this. I need to open this up. That'll flow quicker. That is unreachable dig. Won't be if I do that. How about a carbon skim in your base? Um, maybe. I'm not going to work on that right now. I'm working on this. Oh god. Yes, I know you're scalding. Maybe don't stand there while digging, you dumbass. <laughs> Zoli, what are you? Oh my god, they're just they're just standing in it. Please don't die. God, Jesus. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, they're all are <laughs> all really badly. I'm not dead, but I'm I'm very badly burned. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me uh, disable this auto repair. Why? Why do you? Why do you? Why do you insist on hurting yourself? Okay, they're gonna go to the triage cot. Okay, good. They're not dead. They're not dead. Nobody's dead. They're just stupid. <laughs> Nobody's dead. They're just stupid. It's okay. They're just stupid. Don't worry about it. Okay, ten mg. Okay, so this is slowly. I wonder if I could uh, speed this up by placing tiles in here and pushing it out. The problem is building in here when it's so hot is going to scald them, so... I just don't think I can do that. I know, if I fill in, though, the more I fill in in here, the more I work in here, the more scalded my, my duplicates get. You're, you're thinking the same along, li along the same li lines as I am. Not dead, not dead, just stupid to make a pretty good t-shirt. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay, let's let's do it though. Let's do it. So these these tiles need to be made out of uh, Do they need to be made out of obsidian or can they just be like igneous rock? Actually because we have all these igneous rock right here. This would be really quick if I just do this Can they reach this top one is the question uh, it's they can if I do this Send it to the dupes to the med bay after yeah Break a tile next to the pump, it'll go faster? I don't think so. I actually can see where it pumps from. Although, I guess it wouldn't hurt to break that tile. Temperature. Yeah. Dignity is enough? Okay. Put the pump down and right one close to the volcano. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna open that up. I think it'll be fine. Okay. I know, I know, Chef Shogi. Life is hard. I'm making you work. R literally next to a volcano. It's rough. Life is tough. It's gonna be a vacuum soon anyways. Yeah, it won't take too long, and, and putting these things will help. Putting these tiles will help push it off to the side there. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, I, this is naval auto repair. They're just not doing it yet. Everybody is 
Everybody is in triage here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It hurts so much. Do you hear what Rand made us do? I know. He made us friggin' literally build in a volcano. Oh, he's such a taskmaster. By a clone bay. The Ignis will melt in contact with Magnum, though, but less cleanup. Um, okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mainly... I'm going to build as much as I can. To, oh, God. Just push the gas out. Just start push it out, man. Imagine if Clone Bay was a thing and only then a stress dupe goes along and breaks it while it's cloning the other dupes. <laughs> I, would, I would expect that. I would definitely expect that. All right, let's see here. Frankie. Ren. Ren's almost ready, right? Yeah, his athletics is good. He just needs exosuit wearing, and he's ready to go. You're not good. Neither are you, neither are you. Okay. Uh, yeah. For some reason, all of my duplicates who are getting scalded in a volcano are not... don't have high morale. So confused why they're... why they be so sad all the time. There is a clone bay. It's called the printing pod. Uh, I don't think you can really call it a clone bay. It's kind of like a clone bay, but it's not really a clone bay. Uh, I actually don't think I can build any further over, right? Oh, I can. I can build right there. Okay. Problem is, if this volcano is active... Speaking of, I actually need to analyze the thing. Which means somebody's gonna get scalded. I think Shogi. Oh, poor Shogi. God, you better be fast on your analyzation here. And before sour gas. What's funny is, temperature-wise, crude oil is fine. Crude oil is actually great. Yeah, light wounds. Can I do this at nine here? I want to get this done. So, like, I can't... Yeah, I can't play. So I think that's the most I can do to push it over. Oh, did I get it? Vacuum, we got it. Beautiful. Uh, I think, right? That's a GG cookie time right there. GG cookie time. We got a vacuum around our volcano. Beautiful. All right. That's awesome. Now, hopefully, they won't scald while they do the um, do the analysis. Let's get this thing analyzed, and then we're going to take our break here. But nice. Yeah, I know. I'm deleting it. I stopped the auto repair, and I just say, and I'm, I'm deleting it. Um, I also want to even get rid of the uh, power lines there. Okay, beautiful. And after all that, the temperature of the crude oil is a toasty, nice, balmy 10.8 degrees Celsius. So that's great. Um, I can deconstruct these. I don't think I want to yet. I actually want to... Well, actually, I can I can dig out. I can dig this out. Let's do that. So we're going to deconstruct these guys. They'll still scald if the floor is lava. Right, yeah. Well, that's why I want to get... I want to get this analyzed now. And then I want to... I want to make a ladder down to this one so I can analyze this guy, hopefully before it erupts again. And I need to block off this. I need to go in through here and block off all these areas. I wonder if I can do diagonal building to not have to worry about other vacuum things here. Right, that's what I want to do. I, this one is, I have to do it up di diagonal up left because I can't reach it from, because there's neutronium around. I can't reach it there, but... I think I could do diagonal building to um, to deal with this. 
penalize. Nine. Okay, so we're still a vacuum there. Okay, yeah, so there's chlorine there, so I would need to do... If I dig out those two, and build a tile there. That was an autosave. <clears throat> and I think I could do just diagonal building for the steam. And that might be... Will that be enough? Maybe. Okay, we got it. Nice. So we do... Here. Bubble is a vacuum. Yeah, the one over here was a vacuum. Yes, I've, I've, been, I've been checking them. We do that guy. Beautiful. Dig out that. You know what I do? What I might do? I might just build from this room outward to get the vacuum. If I can do it diagonally, it's going to be highly micro-intensive, but I feel like this will be less take less time than actually opening up a room and putting a putting a uh, opening a room, and putting a pump in it. That just takes so long. I feel like. Okay, once I get this one done, I'm going to save, slow it down, and then uh, I'm just going to give them some, like, dig. Dig things while I um, take my first break of the day. So, nice. We got these these guys in vacuum. I'm very happy about that. That was, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly. I thought that was going to be much tougher to make happen. So, I'm very happy about that. These guys uh, analyzed. Uh, that's that should be reachable from there, right? Yeah, that should be reachable. These ladders are sandstone. That's not going to work, actually. Actually, need to change these ladders to uh, what, like obsidian. Do it that way. And all these insulated tiles are obsidian, and they're all temperature-wise. Wow, these insulated tiles and, and crude oil did great. I was expecting this to be much harder to make, um, make a vacuum in here. I'm very happy. Good job. Good job, my stuplicants. You were much less stuplicant this time. Remember that your dupes will jump into hot magma to achieve their task, so evacuate as the volcano becomes active. Right, right. Okay. So that's good. I'm going to tell them to dig um, this out. This is ice. Okay, I don't want to dig. I'm going to cancel that. I don't want to touch the ice. I don't want it to melt and become an issue. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game. I'm going to let them do their... Um, the little bit of building I've started here. A little bit of digging out. A little bit of research. Well, I stand up search use Russian. Thank y'all so much for watching. That, I'm very happy that we got that done. That was I was worried that that was going to be work, difficult. So, real quick, stand up search use Russian. Uh, quick 60 seconds worth, worth of ads, my friends. If there's anybody new, hit that follow. And when we come back, we will see about getting a petroleum boiler set up after we get this. Uh, we're going to be working with these volcanoes. This will be interesting. So, y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.